Surprise, mother. Welcome back to Fantasy Star for the Sega Master System. My name is Chris, you can call me Nature. And that chest was trapped. In this game there are plenty of chests and some of these chests are trapped, like that one. An exploding trap, which you just saw, will damage your entire party's HP. But since we only have Alice, it's not very much. So last time, I got killed by two scorpions, and while re-recording, I got killed by an owlbear. No, no joke. And I had to start all the way over. So, I'm gonna grind up and do things a little differently this time. I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, we're back in town south of Kamini, and we're gonna do things differently, like I said. For one, I took my advice from last episode, did not buy the shield, and got a sword this time. So now, with this iron sword that I equip, my stats have gone up, and my attack is now 20. I can deal with stronger enemies much more easily. And, we can sell the short sword at the secondhand store for a little bit of money back. I mean, there's no point in holding on to the short sword, Nobody else can really use it, and Alice's Iron Sword is always going to be better. <sighs> so, before I go out grinding again, I'm going to go back to Kamini and heal over for free, because I didn't realize that that house right there was free healing. And I walked into a secondhand shop. What are you doing past me? No... Out of the shop. So we're gonna heal and... Game? Okay, now it's not the game, it's me. Why am I doing this? Now I'm gonna go in and get free healing. It's been a while since I played this game. So when I actually caught myself not going into that house, I felt like such an idiot. We all make mistakes. Mine was not following rule number one of RPGs. Inspect everything. Swarm, one shot. Gotta love that iron sword. And I just healed! Guess I'll heal again, then do some more off screen grinding. And over here, we have the town of Scion. It sells armor at the armory. What a surprise. One town sells shields, one sells swords, this one sells armor. We've already got leather armor, we might want to get a light suit later on. A light suit would definitely help us out, in defense. But this is Scion, this is the town where Odin's supposed to be. What does this guy have to say? This is the poor town Scion, long ago we thrived on trade. Okay, doesn't help very much. What about in here? There's a hill named Bay of MLA in the north of this town, but none of us dare approach it. Well, that sounds interesting, but not relevant to what we're looking for. How about here? A door lock with magic can only be opened with magic. Magic must defeat magic! They say that there are Motavian living on Motovia and Dezoria is living on Dezoris. Well, that's interesting. I mean, who do you expect to live there? There's a cave north of Baia Mele. Odin set off to kill Medusa. He went with an animal that can speak. The animal had a bottle of medicine hanging from his neck, but I don't know what it's for. Well, that's interesting. Maybe we should find out more about that. A cave called Iala can be found on the peninsula to the south of Sion. We've got to remember all these places. Jeez, this is a lot of information to take in. I recently found a talking beast in the cave where Medusa lives. I sold him for a good price to a merchant from Viseo. But that's all the way on Matabia. How are we going to get there? We need a compass to pass through the Epi Forest. Okay, but how are we going to get to Matabia? 
Well, there's a shop here. And this is another secondhand shop. But this place... Oh. Um, uh, I guess not. This is the secondhand shop. This place sells secrets. Also a transfer which can teleport you back to a town. That's pretty nice. But we want to buy those secrets. So, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. Hooray for grinding. Am I right? Well, at least it should be easier with this iron sword. I'm nearly indestructible. Except to owl bears. I think I'm going to keep avoiding owl bears as much as possible. Two scorpions. You guys wrecked me last time, but I'm getting my revenge now. Die, 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 die. That was dumb. I have a little bit of a thing against scorpions. It's kind of messed up. Ugh. I hope it doesn't come to bite me later. More swarms. Easy pickings. I am undefeatable. I am indestructible. I can even take on two scorpions with only six health and I would win. Which is good because I haven't got much health left. Let's go. Why am I walking around? We should go back and heal. Um, oh crap. These things are hitting pretty hard. Come on, one shot it. Oh no, at least I get the first turn. No! Again! I'll be right back. Here we have a new enemy, a man-eater. Man-eaters hit okay, but they're not that tough. Nothing like an owlbear. When they die, they give you 13 mesitas, which is like a scorpion, but scorpion's technically easier to kill. So while off-screen grinding, I've managed to get my 200 meseta to buy the secrets. So let's buy them. I don't know who told you that. You had best forget it. And he kicks me out. What the heck? Go back in and try buying the secrets again. I tell you, no one can do, no can do. Go back wherever you came from. Weird. Try one more time. Go back in. Buy the, try buy the secrets again. All right, all right, I give up, but don't tell anyone where you got this, okay? So what did we get for 200 Mercedes? We got the road pass, which will let us get through the spaceport. That's good. We're gonna need that. And because I died, I have to talk to this person down here. I recently found a talking beast in the cave where Medusa lives. I sold him to a good price for the merchant at Paseo. So I guess we're gonna have to go find this talking beast if we want to get to Odin. Because if you recall earlier, the talking beast was companions with Odin. And here we have a lone scorpion. Die. It's pretty quick. At least things are getting a little better. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more grinding because we still need a little more Masetta to continue the game. So, I'll be right back soon. In just a minute. Anytime. Save the game here is a good idea. <laughs> Save often, remember that. Important. Single swarm dead. Yes, a level. Alice is the best level. Alice learned a new spell. That's great. At level four, Alice learns a new magic spell and gains some MP. What spell did we get? Well, let's see. If you press status one more time, we got the heal spell. That spell for the cost of 2 MP will heal 20 HP, which is very useful. And there's another Swarm. Swarm's no match for me. So yeah, now we have the heal spell. The game should be a lot easier. We should die a lot less. I'm gonna head back to Cam and eat and heal up because that's what I do. I go to Cam and eat and I get healed. Now that I'm healed up, by checking my menu, you can now see I've got 4 MP, which I can use to heal spells with. So, quick run over my stats. 
Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so here's a quick demonstration of how heal works. Go to magic, heal, and then for 2 MP you get 20 HP. Very nice. It's very useful in the game, and you're going to be using heal spells a lot if you're not using items. So, I guess now I'm going to continue the long, arduous grind, but I guess I could have this time now to talk about some things. First off, please forgive me if I'm pronouncing anything wrong. I haven't looked anything up about it. I haven't looked anything up about the names of towns or things. I just try to do the best I can. Second, the town southwest of Kameny, where you can buy the swords, is actually called Paralit. At least that's what I think it's called. And now it looks like we're heading off to the spaceport, which with the road pass we can proceed. Otherwise he would say, YOU SHALL NOT PASS! Or something like that. Now here at the spaceport we go into this shop to file for a passport. It's pretty simple. You say, yes to file a passport, no to anything illegal, no to an illness, and yes to pay the fee. And then you get a passport. And the passport's required to travel through space. SPACE! Well, that about does it for this part. Next time on Fantasy Star, we're going to be in the city of Paseo on Motavia. And we're going to go see if we can learn more about this talking beast and what happened to Odin. Time for Matavia, are you getting on? Yes, we are. So, this has been Chris, also known as Nature. I'll see you next time.